And I came out here to feed the Cornish crosses. And looky here. We having a party, guys? And it is a good morning. It is like one of those mornings where it's almost cold enough to put on a sweater. You know what I'm talking about? That's one cool thing about living in the mountains near Asheville, North Carolina, is no matter how hot it gets during the day, which doesn't get that hot, it always cools off at night. Now I came out here to feed the Cornish crosses, and looky here. We having a party, guys? Are you where you're supposed to be? No, they're supposed to be in that pasture poultry pen. But there must be a divot here somewhere in the ground. So let's see if we can find that. And I'll show you how we're gonna fix that. Where are you guys getting out? Wow. I don't see any obvious divots. What in the world? Okay, the only thing I think of is maybe behind this, there's a bit of a divot there. Maybe they're crawling out through that because this was leaning up there. They can't get back in. I'm not totally shocked by this because last night when I came out here, they were doing the same thing. And I have that block there for a reason because I was like, okay, it's towards the evening. Some of y'all are out. I just let everybody out. And so I propped, that, I propped this thing up with that. That was their door. They could come in and out by going underneath that thing. But what I noticed last night is when I fed them and left that propped up, everybody ended up going back in. So let's hope that happens because it's early in the morning. I can't let everybody be free ranging all throughout the day. They'll definitely be getting got. So let's lift this up and see if they'll go back in there for the food. See them rushing towards that water, they think it's the food. Sorry guys, food in just a minute. And remember guys, after day five, I started with whole food, just 12 hours of food a day. Otherwise, these guys are like bread to eat. They will eat so much. And if they have it full time, 24 seven, they're just gonna grow too fast, grow faster than their legs, and they, they won't be able to be walking around as much as they are right now. This is pretty cool. They're actually acting like chickens. I think one of the tricks to raising these Cornish cross crazy hybrid birds is to trick them. You know, I came out here last night and some of them had escaped and they would walk. I mean, this, this, you just think it's just a regular chicken, right? They're out getting bugs. They're out grazing grass. They're almost scratching. So I think the trick is, is to trick them into thinking they're a chicken. So how can that happen? Well, I think they might be big enough actually to where I'm moving them around this pasture poultry pen. I can prop it up during the day if I have electric and poultry net around it. So we might try that later. Wow, wait a minute. Those guys got in really fast and I, I had that camera on myself and didn't see how they did it. So I'm gonna have to go look back at the footage. So I look back at the footage, they're not going under this at all. They're going right through here. There's this huge gap here. That's crazy, it's a wonder everybody's still here and a raccoon didn't get through there and eat them all. Let's see if that'll hold them temporarily until I can fix this. Got to do some chores and some other things and then I can mend that. I'm gonna have to mend that soon. Let out the little guys. How you guys doing this morning? Come on out. They've got their free choice feed in the crib. They run right to it. I've fed everybody else out here. Hey, Mickey and Minnie the duck and, and Donald Trump the goose have been staying out at night. So I've been making sure my fence has been hot but that's just an interesting new trend. Now, I had a little experiment last night. I put in some little guys 
with the cage fighters just to see if they would be okay. Looks like they're doing just fine. They're getting out of the way. Good for you. You guys are no dummies. Oh, the guineas, guys, look. Yep, this is their new place. Didn't work out like we had hoped. We're gonna transition everybody into this. Okay, I got my morning chores done early. I did a lot of them last night. I'm gonna take advantage of this awesome light, this cool weather, and shoot a little educational video on all my different coops. Do you guys realize I have five different coops? And they're way more than shelter. They're at the heart of the machine of the work that's getting done with this flock. So if you haven't checked that out, I'm gonna publish this video around the same time, so I'll link to it below. Okay, let's see, let's clean my lens. Collar on good, yeah. All right, man, I just finished, it's like 8.20. I think I started that at seven-ish. Oh my gosh, that took way longer than I thought, but it was, it's, it's gonna be a really good one. That's the cool thing about the YouTube videos, you work real hard, but then it gives and gives and gives, and it'll be out there forever-ish. So now I gotta go, let's go get the chillers and do some farm projects. Where are the chiddlers? Oh, well I have some tires here. Wonder what they're doing in the uh, the kitchen. Oh my gosh, chiddlers in the tires. What, you're not cooperating? You you can't just go out on the farm half naked. <laughs> hey, I finally got done, man. I know, I saw Ooh. you. I saw and you go. Oh man, it felt so good, barely enough time. I cannot believe I got that done before the harsh lighting. Look guys, look at that harsh lighting now. <laughs> you looking for it, buddy? Huh? He's looking. Where is it? He wants to go outside. Okay, well I came to get you. He's been bothering me. We got some farm projects. <laughs> Beauty, I've got a long list here, but finding the priorities is what's the trick. Yeah. We'll have to fix the Cornish cross. We have to move, the, move those cucumbers. They're too big for that soil block. And we have to water the plants. If we at least do that, we're doing good. If we get done with that, we'll do a little bit more. Okay. Is that your hibiscus? This is my hibiscus. Sweet. When we replanted these, these came up in these huge bunches. So I'm beginning to wonder if they took all the seeds and buried them. Yeah. Like they took them all off the off the top and they buried them into these clumps. Yeah. Because the miracle mice. The miracle mouse. Yeah, look. Because look, some we've got it going on too. here too in this pepper. Yeah. Um, there's like a yeah, clump here. Yeah, it, it, it's all in bunches too. Yeah. So they were storing them. And there's another tray up here that we're about to plant, but we're gonna plant these. I think that, cause see this is like an acorn, I mean not acorn, this is butternut or spaghetti squash. This is an acorn seed. So it's like a mixture of different squashes. Hey, look at this guys, look this at how it begins. Key. You have your seed and then it's, it, it sprouts and catches into the soil and then it grows and the seed is just still attached to it. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, look at this one. Mm -hmm. Look at this huge one and the seed is still attached to it there at the end. Eventually right it just falls too. off and rots. Look at my uh, tree seed. Cool. Is that a peach? Uh-huh. You can try. Let's get you a pot for it. Okay. See you watering the volunteer plant. Yeah, I want him to live. Look how jamming that is. Okay, now uh, it would be a good idea to mulch it. There's some mul fresh mulch right behind you. See the mama's new setup? So much better. The mama hen on uh, tea bags eggs, and the mama hen on the duck eggs, all as well. And Mr. Brown burning with curiosity. You got the plant for me? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let me dig my, let me get my hole. We want them 12 inches apart and 30 inches apart, okay? Now you gotta put some dirt around it, like. Okay, honey, put it in there. Good job. What's the matter? What's the matter? Come here. What's going on? What's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? 
You what's wrong? Oh. Uh, feeling better. Feeling better already. Do you want to be in with the chickens? Okay. Play. There you go. That make you happy? Okay, play with the chickens. You want me to shut that on you? Okay. There, it's all shut. Love this outfit, especially that unicorn shirt. I'm magical. You are magical. Teabag, is that all right? They borrow your coop for a second? Cool. Nice. Bring it out. Thanks. Okay, I got the cucumbers planted. You still having fun with the chickens? Hey, no, be, be nice. Okay, guys, it's like 10 after 9. You want to be really ambitious? Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah. Well, we could, uh, we need to fix the Cornish cross pin. Mm -hmm. We could put an electric fence, we, we need to mow around it. Okay. Put an electric fence up, okay. put the energizer on it and everything. You guys want to try to do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to really hustle. Okay, Mom, you mow while I fix the pin. Okay, you have to get me set up. Let's get the mower going over there for mom. That was so much easier when all the kids got off. There's something on the way. Alright, I got the new poultry wire up. It's looking good. Is it past inspection, Beauty? Yeah. Oh, that's not convincing. Is it okay that it's on the outside? Yeah, I have one on the outside and on the inside now. Okay. Just double protected it. Yeah, just in case they might pull this off. I guess it'll be a temporary fix. Yeah. We'll come back through with poultry nails as opposed to the stapler. Okay, that's a good idea. We haven't had any dye in the last day. Happy about that. Do apple cider vinegar in their water, keeping their water off the ground. Actually soaking their feed now for the health benefits, but also make the feed go a little bit further. Oh, beautiful one got her haircut. It looks good. Looking good. Like the haircut. Feel good about it? Yeah. 